and run make at Hollywood Park. Peterson is the winner. And it's no one getting up, winning it. And they're off. Bob running. Pops is drawing up. And Ron Mabel running away. David Diver by five. Jack Atkins runs. Drawing it up. Cougar on the way. It's affirmed. And Lucy just galloping. John Henry keeps rolling along. Snow Chief is striving. Best pal breaks away. So far as all blasts. Real quiet. Here's now along the inside. Glad you could join us for Sunday racing at Betfair Hollywood Park as we wrap up the racing week. Perfect weather, good nine race card, and a nice feature race. Capital plan, the favorite for the Beverly Hills handicap. Joe Rosario's last stakes mount before he heads back to New York on a permanent basis. Let's get right to the action of race number one on a Sunday afternoon. A field of six $10,000 claimers kicked off the Sunday card at a mile and one sixteenth. Number one, Living Our Dream, a seven-year-old mayor, first off a claim for Mike Mitchell, bet down to the three to five post-time favorite. Vic Stauffer with the call of Sunday's first. They're at the post. They're off. Katie's Kitty shows good speed. Game Charmer alongside. Musical Grace makes it three in a line into the clubhouse turn. Living Our Dream away in fourth. Then St. Cindy and the early trailer is like a... Three of them right across the track. Katie's Kitty between horses. Three wide musical Grace and at the rail game charmer. And they are dead together turning into the back stretch. And that is only perfect for the big favorite living our dream who will track those three, three off the lead. Leica has seven lengths to make up. Two and a half to St. Cindy at the back of the pack as they turn into the back stretch. Musical Grace, Katie's Kitty. Katie's Kitty now puts a neck in front. Game Charmer continues to apply pressure. Living Our Dream couldn't possibly be getting a better trip. Absolutely no excuses for her. She is fourth and three and a half off the lead, but traveling comfortably. Leica is next, and St. Cindy trails as they run past the half mile pole. And Katie's Kitty seems to have had the best of the three horse battle early. She's two in front going into the far turn from. Musical Grace, but to the outside, here comes Living Our Dream. She's gone from fourth to third and soon into second, and Living Our Dream is after the front-running Katie's Kitty. Leica is still fifth and five from the front. St. Cindy is the trailer, and they're to the top of the stretch with Katie's Kitty and an omnipresent Living Our Dream coming after her now. Katie's Kitty under the whip in three quarters. Living Our Dream, when they straighten away, will be the new leader. St. Cindy looks like her only danger. She's two and a half back in third, soon to get into second. Living Our Dream to the final furlong and a length in front. Katie's Kitty is actually battling on very bravely from the inside. St. Cindy looks like she won't get second, but Living Our Dream is clear to the wire. She's now two and front. Good race, Katie's Kitty. Second best to Living Our Dream. Living Our Dream one by two. Katie's Kitty second. St. Cindy third, like a fourth. The favorite Living Our Dream wins off easily in the opener. Joel Rosario on his final day before shipping to New York. Scores here for Mike Mitchell. Owned by Jim Ford, Living Our Dream, now four for 20. $3.20 to win. Katie's Kitty was second. St. Cindy ran on for third. Trifecta, $13.20. There were two claims. The winner, Living Our Dream, goes back to trainer Eddie Truman. Number three, Katie's Kitty, a five-way shake to Linda Micas. Both those claims for $10,000. Final time, 146 and two. On to race number two, six furlongs on the turf, the rail at the 15-foot position. Allowance race for fillies and mares in a field of five. Carabea Queen and Jet Blue Girl volleyed for favoritism. Carabea Queen was the post-time choice at four to five. They're off. Good start for Dipsy and Carabaya Queen. These two fast into stride. Jet Blue Girl and Trapper's Bounty and the early trailer is Sister Kate. Match racing off the elbow up the back stretch, and Carabaya Queen is just in front of Dipsy. Carabaya Queen now half length. Dipsy is second. Trapper's Bounty is traveling beautifully in the blue. Trapper's Bounty catches the eye early, and she's two from the front. Jet Blue Girl and Sister Kate both have three and a half lengths to make up. As they run into the far turn, Carabaya Queen is the leader. Dipsy is closer now in second. Carabaya Queen only leads by a head. Dipsy is second by a length and a half. Trapper's Bounty chooses a three wide path for clear running and here she comes up after the front. Meanwhile, Jet Blue Girl is saving all the ground. That puts her in major contention. Sister Kate at the back of the pack, top of the stretch. Carabaya Queen has the lead. She's put away Dipsy but now must deal with Jet Blue Girl who runs by Trapper's Bounty and takes over the lead. Jet Blue Girl now in charge by two. Carabaya Queen, Trapper's Bounty, Sister Kate splits them for a minor award. Jet Blue Girl wins. 
Jet Blue Girl won by two. Very close. I think Carabaya Queen just held off Sister Kate for second, and Trapper's Bounty finished fourth. Good win by Jet Blue Girl. Rafael Bejarano in the saddle for trainer Pete Erton. Jet Blue Girl, a five year old mare, scores nicely and returns $4.60 as a second choice on the board. Caribbean Queen second and third was Sister Kate. Early double, eight dollars even. The winner, Jet Blue Girl, claimed a two-way shake to Doug O'Neill for sixty-two thousand five hundred dollars. Final time, one oh nine and two. Moving on to race number three at seven furlongs, Phillies and Mares three and up a climbing price of twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Scratch the three Woodman's last post-time favorite was number five Miss Oops at seven to five. They're off. Miss Oops broke well, and so did Calc Bay. Those two see our favorite secret in Little Miss Mackey. Now Calc Bay drops back to last, passed by Roman Charity. See our favorite secret in Miss Oops up the back stretch. See our favorite secret ahead in front. Miss Oops is second by a length and three quarters to Little Miss Mackey and Roman Charity. And Calc Bay is fifth and last, about six lengths behind. Both see our favorite secret and Miss Oops. See our favorite secret narrowly in front from Miss Oops, who's comfortable outside of her in second. Lil Miss Mackey is now a clear third, and she's only a length and a quarter from the front. Could get into second soon as see our favorite secret is done and backing out of it. Roman Charity makes her move three wide. Calc Bay is still fifth and last, and now eight behind Miss Oops, who's two and a half furlongs from the money. Miss Oops goes to the quarter pole. Roman Charity is now taking up the running in second. Lil Miss Mackey is backed out of it. Calc Bay is about to move into third, but she's five lengths behind the front running Miss Oops and Chantal Sutherland. Miss Oops settles into the lane with a two and a half length lead. Roman Charity is second. Calc Bay is continuing to close through from the inside. Still two and a half behind, though, as Miss Oops comes to the final 16th with a clear lead. She's two in front. Calc Bay is second, Roman Charity third, Lil Miss Mackey is fourth. Miss Oops drifts out, she's got links to work with, and she wins. Miss Oops won by two, Calc Bay second, Lil Miss Mackey third, Roman Charity finished fourth. Another good claim for trainer Jeff Mullins and a nice ride by Chantal Sutherland. Miss Oops, owned by Mark Tatch, first off the claim, back to the winner's circle. $4.80. Calc Bay was second. Lil Miss Mackey finished third. That first pick three, $11.30. Busy claim box day. Number two, Lil Miss Mackey to Tim Yachtin. Number four, Calc Bay to Cesar Dominguez. The winner, Miss Oops. Five way shake to George Lopez. All claims for $12,500. Final time, 124 and 3. We'll take a break. Come back with a Sunday pick six. Friday, June 29th, Bedford Hollywood Park presents the High Energy Dance Party of Michael Franchi and Spearhead. Michael and his band will be performing hits from their album, The Sound of Sunshine, and more. Come early for the exciting thoroughbred racing and then rock out to Michael Franchi and Spearhead in concert. Call 310-419-1549 or go to BedfairHollywoodPark.com for all the details. It's Michael Franchi and Spearhead at Bedfair Hollywood Park, Friday night, June 29th. Sunday's fourth race began to pick six. Six furlongs on the turf, an allowance race, three-year-olds and up. Nice purse of $52,000. Favorites drawn outside a toe by three, the two-to-one second choice. Number seven, Lakerville on the comeback, unbeaten in two previous starts, a seven-to-five favorite. Seven went six in race four. They're at the post. They're off. Brace yourselves in a toe by three, lead blocker between those two, Octane at the rail. Sabora Margo is next, then comes Lakerville, and the trailer is Bumpa, lead blocker, shuffled back between horses. They run up the backstretch now, and brace yourselves in a toe by three or one, two. Brace yourselves ahead in front. A toe by three is second by a length and a quarter to Sabora Margo and Octane. Lakerville will be three wide leaving the back stretch, but he's in good striking position. Red cap, fifth and two and a half off the lead. Bumpa moves through inside of lead blocker. They're at the back of the pack, four and a half, first to last. Brace yourselves in a toe by three, about to be joined three wide by Lakerville. Here comes Lakerville to challenge the top two. Sabor, Amargo, and Octane and lead blocker make up the next flight. Those three across the track, two from the front. Bumpa's seventh and last, wide open. Horses coming from everywhere in the final furlong, Lakerville. Brace yourselves, a toe by three. Octane only a length from the lead. Lead blocker on the outside, Lakerville a short lead, but here comes Octane, and he levels out nicely, and Octane runs to the front. 
Nice finish for Octane. He beat Lakerville on the square. A toe by three, third, and lead blocker fourth. Been a good last part of the meet for trainer Bruce Headley as Octane scores convincingly. Joe Talamo aboard this gilded son of Roman ruler, $7.20 to win. Second, Lakerville, and third was a toe by three. Another formful pick, three, $18.20. Final time, 109 and three. On to race number five at six furlongs, Phillies and Maris three and up, claiming tag of $20,000. Field of six went post with a number of class droppers. Post time favorite was number four, Ambitonis, at eight to five. Vic Stoffer with the call. They're at the post. They're off. Very even start. Let's see who wants the lead. Kiss My Swiss will emerge with a short lead from Rossi Reserve. Candy's Pleasures close up. So is Fast Eddie. So is Classy Attraction. So five of them mix it up up the back stretch. The one that's out sprinted is Ambitinous. Inside two are quick as now. Classy Attraction and Fast Eddie. And they're matching strides at the half mile pole. A length in front of Kiss My Swiss. Candy's Pleasure will be four wide leaving the back stretch. Meanwhile, Rossi Reserve is tightly at the rail and only two and a half from the front. And Ambitinous is at the back of the pack four lengths first to last classy attraction narrowly in front Juan Hernandez trying to get his first Betfair Hollywood Park win has fast Eddie in good striking position if she's good enough but now just responded not responding to the whip quite yet then comes kiss my Swiss Rossi reserve into the outside candy's pleasure and classy attraction is getting away classy attraction comes to mid stretch now and she's built up a winning lead classy attraction has left fast Eddie four lengths back in second then comes Rossi Reserve trying to get in third past Kiss My Swiss. Classy Attraction and Danny Vergara. Classy Attraction won by three and a half. Fast Eddie was second. Kiss My Swiss held third over Rossi Reserve in fourth. The only mayor in the field who'd won a race in 2012 wins the fifth. Classy Attraction. Daniel Vergara up for owner trainer Silverio Martinez. Seven year old mayor returns $14.60. Fast Eddie was second and third was Kiss My Swiss. Another popular race at the claim box, the winner classy attraction of George Paraban. Ambitness to beat in favorite off the board, but a nine-way shade goes to Billy Morey. And number six, Candy's Pleasure to Mark Glatt. All those claims for $20,000. Pick five, $169.30. Final time, one eleven and 2 On to race number six to start of the late pick four. Back onto the turf at six furlong, maiden fillies and mares, three and up. A field of eight, the favorites drawn towards the inside. Wild Truffles, the choice at three to two. Eileen's Dream, the second favorite at two to one. Stormy Randy adds blinkers for trainer Gary Mandela. Eight went six on the turf to kick off the pick four. They're at the post. They're off. Slow start, Christmas candy. Eileen's Dream and Athena Lee inside posts go to the front. Wrinkle Room and Perfecta close up. Wild Truffles drafts through at the rail. Passing credit card roulette, then Stormy Randy, and Christmas Candy is not striding out at all at the back of the pack. Might get pulled up. They run up the back stretch with Eileen's Dream in charge. It is Eileen's Dream, a three length advantage over Athena Lee in second. Then comes Wrinkle Room, three wide in third and six lengths be behind because Eileen's Dream leads by five. Wild Truffles just passed Wrinkle Room. Credit card roulette and Perfecta have nine to make up. And then comes Stormy Randy, and they round the far turn, and Eileen's Dream is in a race all by herself. Still a quarter of a mile to get, but she's got six lengths to work with as Athena Lee continues to race in second. Wild Truffles is about to take second. Credit Card Roulette's moving nicely at the rail in Perfecta, but they're still all five behind Eileen's Dream. However, Wild Truffles is now cutting into the margin, and she is doing it fast, and so is Credit Card Roulette. And Wild Truffles has blown by Eileen's Dream. Wild Truffles in front. Wild Truffles won by two and a half. It is desperately close for a second. Between Credit Card Roulette and Eileen's Dream, Perfecta finished fourth. Another perfectly timed ride by Rafael Bejarano. First time Bejarano, first time to the winner's circle for Wild Truffles in her eighth career start. Owned by Jennifer Thoroughbreds, Leonard Powell, the winning conditioner, $5 on the win end. Second, Eileen's Dream, who the pace setter in third was Credit Card Roulette. Pick three, $66.10. Final time, 109 and three. We'll take a break, come back with a seventh. Friday, June 29th, Bedford Hollywood Park presents the High Energy Dance Party of Michael Franci and Spearhead. 
Michael and his band will be performing hits from their album, The Sound of Sunshine, and more. Come early for the exciting thoroughbred racing and then rock out to Michael Franti and Spearhead in concert. Call 310-419-1549 or go to BetfairHollywoodPark.com for all the details. It's Michael Franti and Spearhead at Betfair Hollywood Park, Friday night, June 29th. Sunday seventh race tipped off the final pick three on the card. Six and a half furlongs and allowance race, Phillies and Mares, purse of fifty-two thousand dollars. Egg drop makes her first start of the year. She's bet down to the six to five post time choice. Six went six and a half in race number seven. They're at the post. They're off. Awkward start. Egg drop. Around the twig and moonstruck Maya Breakwell. Big Honey Bee and Jardella close up at the rail. She Spirit to Sue and the slow start has Egg Drop at the back of the pack. Moonstruck Maya makes the lead up the back stretch and does it smartly. She's two and a half in front of Big Honey Bee splitting horses around the twig in a three wide Jardella. She Spirit to Sue races in fifth and about five from the front and she's a neck in front of Egg Drop who's sixth and last as they leave the back stretch. Moonstruck Maya continues to travel smartly and she's three lengths in front of Big Honey Bee and Jardella. Around the twig is gone. She drops back to last, passed by both Egg Drop and She Spirit to Sue. Moonstruck Maya in charge to the quarter pole. Moonstruck Maya, a length and three quarters. Big Honeybee is coming after her a bit, but she's also completely all in. Jardella has three to come. Egg Drop is five lengths behind and less than three sixteenths to make it up. Moonstruck Maya, hand ridden and galloping along. Moonstruck Maya is now five lengths in front. She is racing strongly past the 16th pole. Big Honey Bee trying to hold off Egg Drop for a second. Moonstruck Maya in front. Moonstruck Maya won by five. Big Honey Bee was second. Egg Drop third. And Jardella finished fourth. Turns out to be a nice claim by trainer Peter Miller for his owners Kirk and Judy Robeson. Moonstruck Maya claimed for $25,000 out of a win on May 31st. Takes down the winner's share of the $52,000 purse. Wins nicely. Garrett Gomez aboard at $6.40. Big try by the runner-up, Big Honeybee. She too made her first start off the claim and ran a very good second at a big price. Egg drop, a troubled start, ran on to be third. Pick three, 87.80. Final time, 116 and one. Eighth race, 47th running, grade three, Beverly Hills Handicap. $100,000 purse for Phillies and Mares, three and up at a mile and one quarter on the turf. Number two, Cambina, the second choice on the board at two to one. A rider change, S1 Flores picks up the long shot, Slaying Castle. Capital plan, the post time favorite at four to five. A field of six, Vic Stauffer with the call, grade three, Beverly Hills Handicap. They're at the post. They're off. Quaintly and Camille C break best. Quaintly to the front. Camille C in the center of the turf course is second with Imperialistic Diva. Capital Plan sits fourth early alongside Cambina and the early trailer is Slane Castle. It is Quaintly to set the pace but with some pressure from Camille C in second. Quaintly is a measured neck in front. Camille C is second by two lengths to Imperialistic Diva who gallops third. Capital Plan is just off her flank, fourth and about three from the front. She's two in front of Cambina at the rail, and Slane Castle is the trailer. Six lengths, first to last, at the clubhouse turn in the 47th. Beverly Hills handicap, and Quaintly is really slowing it down now. Everybody took hold as Quaintly just backs up into them and leads by a length and a quarter from... Camille C in second. Imperialistic Diva is third, now two from the front. Capital Plan is a tugging fourth, only two and a half lengths off the lead. Long shot Slain Castle is going to run up outside of the favorite, and that's going to force Rosario's hand on Capital Plan, and now she is moving up. Capital Plan in the pink is within a half length of the lead, and she's making a middle move that's going to take her all the way up to challenge quaintly. Meanwhile, Imperialistic Diva is fifth at the rail and two and a half off the lead, and Cambina is sixth and last three lengths first to last three furlongs left to race quaintly still in front 
Quaintly is just a neck in front of Capital Plan, who's alongside in second. Cambina is about to split horses. Here's Cambina and Garrett Gomez. She puts her head into third and two from the front. Imperialistic Diva tries to go with her. Camille C is now five behind Sling Castle, the trailer in. Quaintly is still the leader. Top of the stretch, Quaintly. Many with chances, including Capital Plan, who's right alongside. Imperialistic Diva, nowhere to go. Cambina in the center. Good one as they come inside the final 16. Quaintly in Capital Plan. Cambina to the outside. Capital Plan and nose in front. Cambina surges. Capital Plan. Cambina. Capital Plan. The 47th Beverly Hills handicap goes to Capital Plan. She beat Cambina by a head. Imperialistic Diva and Quaintly in a photo for third. Jockey Joel Rosario leaves for New York after today's card. He wins one last stake here at the meet as he takes Capital Plan to the winner's circle, hanging on to win gamely over Cambina and Quaintly. She's now a multiple graded stakes winner, trained by Jerry Hollendorfer for Mark D. Domenico and Hollendorfer. Capital Plan, $3.80 to win. Cambina, nice hard try and mare up for second, finishing third was the pace setter, Quaintly. That pick three, $21.30. Final time, 2.04 and 1. We'll take a time out, come back with the ninth and final. Friday, June 29th, Bet Fair Hollywood Park presents the High Energy Dance Party of Michael Franci and Spearhead. Michael and his band will be performing hits from their album, The Sound of Sunshine, and more. Come early for the exciting thoroughbred racing and then rock out to Michael Franci and Spearhead in concert. Call 310 419 1549 or go to BetFairHollywoodPark.com for all the details. It's Michael Franci and Spearhead. Back with Sunday's ninth and final, California bred and maiden fillies, two-year-olds traveled five and one-half furlongs. Number two, Ella Be Awesome, the choice from the Doug O'Neill Barn at five to two. Scratch number six, Salty Gal. Scratch the 11, a Wink and Wish. Scratch the 12, Lady 180. Scratch the 13, a little luckier. The 14, Get Going Tizzy, does draw in from the also eligible list. Vic Stoffer with the call, ninth and final. They're off. Terrible start. Cleverly Beverly. Cotton's Point, Swiss Bliss, Tribal Peace, Girl on the Lamb, and Ella Be Awesome. Those five are quickest. Get going tizzy away, sixth and on the move. Then Tribal Rain, followed by Chow Valentina and Warren Sugarbuzz, and Cleverly Beverly at the back of the pack. Two of them emerge now, and they are Girl on the Lamb and Tribal Peace leaving the back stretch. Tribal Peace outside, Girl on the Lamb at the rail. Two lengths to another duo. They are Swiss Bliss and Ella Be Awesome. Cotton's Point's about to join those two. Maybe get into third, and here's Cotton's Point. Wayne Blinker's after the front runners. Tribal Rain is next. Then get going Tizzy, who tails off. Followed by Chow Valentina, Warren Sugarbabe, and Cleverly Beverly. Tribal Peace has the lead. Cotton's Point is out after her. It is Tribal Peace, but here comes Cotton's Point right alongside and continuing to close. Cotton's Point engages Tribal Peace. These two will decide it. Tribal Peace won't let her by yet. Cotton's Point alongside Tribal Peace. Cotton's Point, Tribal Peace will hold her off and win. Tribal Peace won by a half length. Cotton's Point was second. Swiss Bliss third. Girl on the Lamb fourth. Close for fifth. Ella Be Awesome and Chow Valentina. Good battle to the wire between the first time starter Tribal Peace and the second time starter Cotton's Point. A nice job by David Flores as Tribal Peace holds off Cotton's Point to win. First time out for Pam and Marty Wygott and trainer John Sadler. Nine dollars even on the winner. Second was Cotton's Point and they were well clear the rest of the field. Long way back to Swiss Bliss. That trifecta, $111.10. Super high five, $640.90. Half a million dollars in the late pick four. That paid $54 and change. Pick six, six out of six, $2,597. Five out of six, $5,120. Place pick all, perfect tickets good for $242.60. That's it for Sunday racing and the racing week at Betfair Hollywood Park. Just 13 racing days remain at the spring summer meeting. Hope you can join us for one of them. We're back up and racing on Thursday, first post at 1 o'clock. Until then, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. Hope to see you soon at Betfair Hollywood Park. <laughs>